Hi guys, I'm Lee Geddes and we're going to try to make some sense of these markets, hence the name Market Sense. This is for the week of October 9th, 2018. And the charts for in this presentation are provided to us by Genesis and their trade navigator software. Use it every day. And here's the weekly bond market chart. And this is some serious stuff here and also very interesting. They've been down several weeks in a row and then really accelerated to the downside last week, including taking out lows for, well, as far back as we can see on the chart anyway. Uh, this is two things. This looks like a really good exhaustion bar. After being down already so far to accelerate this much, usually it will exhaust a move. Doesn't mean they're not going to go down anymore. It just means they're probably not going to go down anymore right now. Uh, as you can see, they've made just a marginal new low and turned back up. I would think a move to the 138.24 area here at this lower moving average is fairly likely. Uh, but the other side of this is because of taking out these lows, you have to understand how far down they really could go. Uh, I mentioned last week they basically went up for 35 years from 1981 to 2016. I do not expect them to go down that long, but... When they break like this, it, knowing that they went that far up, hopefully should get you to stop thinking, well, they've gone too low. They have to bounce. No, no, that's not true. They could go a lot lower and they might. But for right now, I'm kind of looking for a move back up there. The uh, support down here is around 135.24. They could go that low. I, I would be a little surprised if they did, but they could. And uh, it's not unlikely that they can get all the way up to the 139.24 area, the middle moving average. That's quite possible, but 38.24 is really all I'd be looking for if I had gotten along here. Uh, big picture, yeah, they might go a lot lower, just not right now, I don't think. Uh, stocks have also broken down a little bit last week and I think this is largely in reaction to the move in interest rates you know bonds being the inverse of interest rates um, because of the size of this move up just from April here they could still go down quite a bit further but I don't think they will as long as bonds stabilize and that, that's what I think is the key there if bonds continue to break hard I think stocks might get scared and go down as well but as long as bonds stabilize, they don't even have to rally back. Just stabilize, and I think they'll be okay. We're looking at support here in the uh, 2864 area. They haven't missed that by much, only a couple points. That Maybe that's close enough. The best resistance is around 29, 15, 16 in this middle moving average. There's nothing to stop them from going up to 2940 or so, uh, again, assuming bonds stabilize. Um, and it's not out of the question to see them go closer to 2840. That's this middle Keltner channel, which you can see they've, they've bounced off here once since beginning this move up. They, they could do that again. Um, but right now, I think it's it's really a matter of you could almost trade stocks based on bonds. If the bonds stabilize, then I think it's right to look to buy bonds for or buy I'm sorry buy stocks for a move to twenty nine fifteen at least and possibly twenty nine forty. So that's what we got for you today. I hope you can find something profitable to get your 